thought we were gonna get on the pole. So we're building an um, inverted wall, inverted room. How would you explain it? Um, it's an inverted room. So the, the floor will be the panel on the sidewall and the ceiling will be uh, the floor. And we are uh, mixing that in with our rain machine concept um, where we do like indoor rain shoots. And now we're gonna be indoors, indoors uh, with the rain. Hmm. So the mirror will be a standing pool of water and it will be raining uh, into that into that open space there. And we're gonna invert the room sideways so that the figure modeling in it will appear to be jumping out of the mirror. Uh, we have one kind of pre-built and we spent just the past couple days conceptualizing on how to do the whole thing and we're gonna get to lighting and everything soon, but we have a 3D model. Let me show you what's going on there. The room we're building is small, but just enough to get a cool set going. It'll have a frame lying on the main platform, which will sit on top of a pool of water. And there's gonna be props fastened to the side of that fake wooden floor, creating the illusion that it's just another normal room. The idea is to confuse people, so we're gonna have a small rain system hanging from above and adding to that surrealism. Before we get all technical though, let's build this thing. We built this set for five days, but only had two hours to shoot because their studio was fully booked and I had to leave back to LA. It was tricky, but the lighting setup had to fulfill both stills and video since we had to work really fast. For photos, I had a two flash setup, a 600 watt head coming from behind the black backdrop in the corner used for backlighting the water droplets. There was another one boomed overhead and using a gridded strip softbox to limit the spread of light. We encountered issues exposing the black backdrop if light was too diffused. And for video lighting, I had a focused 1K Fresnel coming from camera right. It acted as a hair light when the model was faced pseudo upright and brightened up the chair and bookshelf in the background. I also had an LED panel in the back doing the same job as its flash counterpart. It was there to highlight the raindrops for video. There was a small reflector resting in front of the set to bounce back flash or constant light onto the model's clothing. You are like soaked. Oh my soaked. god. It's, okay. it's perfect. Something like virtual. Literally just flying here. All the footage was shot handheld, no camera rigs, no stabilizers, nothing. In reality, I shot stills for 75% of the time and video for only 25%, so 30 minutes for video footage only. We had Valentina collaborating with us on improvised choreography and managed to pull off a pretty unique set of content. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys liked the project, definitely share the video online and leave a comment below. If it's your first time meeting me, my name's Daniel and I like to share my personal creative process behind my photo and video shoots, as well as showcase some stuff that I might fabricate in my workshop for this project. Anyway, if you'd like to see more, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you might wanna see next. I'll see you next time.